Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on this channel. Today I'm here to present to you the top 10 best animated movies of this decade. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you. Other than that, let's get straight into the video. Let's start off with number 10, The Wind Rises. Hayao Miyazaki's most controversial movie and his most personal The Wind Rises stands out among the master anime filmmakers oeuvre. It's a biopic for one, telling the story of engineer Jiro Horikoshi, the man responsible for the Mitsubishi A6M Zero plane, which was used by Japanese suicide bombers during World War II. Number 9. Coco. Pixar can't resist a high concept or heart stirring tug, and Coco is the perfect synthesis of that. Wrapped up in a visually dazzling, culturally sensitive story. One of Pixar's most beautiful films ever. Lee Uncreech and Adrian Molinas, Sumptuous coming of age film tackled the concept of death and the afterlife. Coco follows the story of an aspiring musician, Miquel Anthony Gonzalez, who steals his idol Aristano to La Grutte's guitar on the day of the dead and finds himself trapped in the vibrant of a colorful land of the dead. Number 8. Wolf Children. There's something about Mamoru Hosada's characters. They're soft, vaguely drawn, almost shapeless, standing in stark contrast to sharply detailed backgrounds, as if they're health, remembering memories of people from long ago. But in contrast to his style, Hosada's film feel urgently alive. Hosada's gentle 2012 film Wolf Children is the purest example of that. Number 7. Inside Out. Pixar's most emotionally mature film to date, Inside Out asks, what if our feelings had feelings? Director Pete's doctor's answer is a little more complicated and a little more melancholic than you might expect. Taking us to a cerebral adventure through a happy, go-lucky little girl's mind as she deals with a life-changing move to San Francisco. Number 6. The Illusionist. Sylvain Comet's 2010 film The Illusionist is a melancholic homepage to French mime, director and actor Jacques Tati in 1956. Based on an unproduced script by the deceased filmmaker. As tender as Comet's past, films were bizarre and farcical. The Illusionist imagines a world where reality and poetry interwine. Number 5. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is a testament to the limitless potential of animation, bringing the pages of the comic book to stunning kaleidoscopic life and a homage to the heart of what makes a great superhero movie. Anyone can wear the mask, but not everyone could make this wild, innovative, dazzling animated film as well as director Peter Ramsey, Robert Persichetti Jr. and Rodney Rodham. Number 4. World of Tomorrow Emotionally devastating and devastatingly simple, Don Herfeld's Oscar-nominated short World of Tomorrow explores heady concepts like immortality, memory, grief and human consciousness through a series of juvenile scribbles. Stick figures gain sentience and are thrust into an abstract space of bright colors and cosmic images focusing on a young bubbly girl named Emily who meets her clone from the future. Number 3. Your Name Makoto Shinkai and Mamoru Hosada have both been doubled the next Hayao Miyazaki, though their style are both wildly different from the anime legend and from each other. While Hosada's heart is in the earth, Shinkai's is in the stars. The filmmaker has always explored the cosmic side of romantic love, but his most successful exploration is the 2016 mega hit Your Name. 2. How to Train Your Dragon how to Train Your Dragon was a turning point for DreamWorks and for CG animation. Dean De Blois film hired Oscar winning cinematographer Roger Deakins to consult and the results in a visually stunning animated film with a tactical sense of space and one of the most breathtaking flying scenes in movie history. Number 1. The Tales of Princess Kaguya The Tale of Princess Kaguya Isao Takahata's crowning glory, the tale of Princess Kaguya, is painfully perfect feat of animation. The Grave of the Fireflies director had been experimenting with his own unique visual style for a while, setting himself apart from his fellow studio Ghibli co-founder Hayao Miyazaki's family-friendly style with an experimental techniques and wackier comedic story like in films 
Pompoko and my neighbors, the Yamadas. Guys, that brings us to the end of the video. If you have enjoyed, leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Also, click the bell notification not to miss any of our future uploads. Other than that, peace out.